Hey guys, uh, this week we will begin our review of basic operations. We're going to mainly focus on long division, but we will also be talking about some vertical multiplication with many digits. Um, but th for this video, we're going to focus on long division. We're going to remember the basics, the tricks, basically, and as we said in the class, when we were doing long division, you can do this any way that suits you. Um, if we get the same result, perfectly fine. Um, but if you solve it in a different way compared to how we usually show it, I might not be exactly able to help you. So if you want to figure it out your own way, um, I don't know what way that might be. Um, you have to know it really well because I might not be able to help you. Okay, so um, let's start doing this the way that we showed last time. So we're going to say how many times does 6 fit into 4? 6 does not fit into 4. So how many, to, how many times does 6 fit into 45? 6 fits into 45 7 times. Also remember the steps. The steps are divide, multiply, subtract, carry down, and then go back from the start. So I just divided, now I'm going to multiply. So 7 by 6 makes 42, which I'm going to subtract from, seven, from 45. And I'm going to get 3. Next, I'm going to pull down the 8. And I'm going to say, how many times does 6 fit into 38? It fits 6 times. 6 times 6 makes 36. So I'm going to do 38 take away 36, which is going to give me 2. And then I'm going to pull down the 6. It's important to make these little dots above the numbers to remember what you've already carried down. So here, if I hadn't made the dot, for example, I might have made the mistake of pulling down the 8 again, which is a common mistake. So then I say, how many times does 6 go into 26? It goes 4 times. 4 times 6 makes 24. So I'm going to write 24 and do 26 minus 24, which is going to give me 2. I go to pull down another number, and I don't have another number to pull down, so this is my answer, and it has a remainder of 2. Okay? There's no, you can't continue it right now um, after this point. So we just say that my answer is 764 with a remainder of 2. Uh, also, remember, keep this in mind, that the exercise is finished only when I go to pull down another number and there's nothing to pull down. That's when the exercise is over. If you've just pulled a number down, you need to follow the steps again. You'll see what I mean a little later. So here we want to say, how many times does 9 fit into 7? It does not. So how many times does 9 fit into 72? It fits 8 times. 8 by 9 makes 72. So I'm going to do 72 minus 72, which is going to give me 0. Then I'm going to pull down the 1. And I'm going to say, how many times does 9 fit into 1? 0. When it doesn't fit at all, and the 9 doesn't go in, like here, where the 9 does not go into the 1 at all. I write this 0, and I pull down the next number next to it as well. The long way to do this would have been for me to say 0 times 9 makes 0, and I would have done 1 take away 0 would make 1, so I'd be right back where I started before doing the subtraction with 1. So instead of doing all that, I'm just going to pull down the next number. I'm going to pull this 0 down here, and I'm going to have 10. I say, how many times does 9 fit into 10? Once. 
one times nine makes nine. So I'm gonna do the subtraction and get one. I go to pull down another number, there is nothing else to pull down, so my answer is 801 with a remainder of one. Next up, how many times does three fit into eight? It fits twice. Two times three makes six. So I do eight, take away six, which makes two. I pull down this zero, comes 20. And I say, how many times does three fit into 20? It fits six times. Six by three makes 18. And I do 20, take away 18, makes two. Now I pull down this one. And I say, how many times does three fit into 21? It fits seven times. Seven by three makes 21. And here's where we need to be careful. Why? Because you get a zero here. And you might be tempted to think, oh, great, I got a zero here, so the exercise is over. No, there's still a number you haven't pulled down. There's a zero here, and we need to pull it down. And again, you might be tempted to think, oh, I have two zeros now, so the exercise is over, right? Again, no, because as we said before, the exercise is over when you go to pull a number down and there's nothing to pull down. So when I go up here and I say, okay, I have this zero and I pull it down here. Okay, you have to repeat all the steps, divide, multiply, subtract. So I have to divide, how many times does three go into zero? It goes zero times. Zero times three makes zero. And then I do zero take, that's supposed to be a zero, it looked like a six. Zero take away zero makes a zero. And now it's over because now I have nothing else to pull down, right? If you wanted to make sure that your answer was correct, what you would have done is you should have multiplied these two numbers and your result should be this number. If we had just left it as 267 and we said 267 times 3, we would not have gotten 8010. We would have gotten something different. Whereas if we do 2670 times 3, we will get 8010. That's the difference. Next up, we're going to be remembering how to do division um, with a two-digit divisor. So, in this case, we want to do 985,624 divided by 47. So, this can be a little difficult. I remember that a lot of you had difficulty with this, so we're going to explain it from the beginning again. My first thought is, does 47 fit into 98? And the answer is yes, it does. 47 does fit into 98. And I start right away with 98 because if I started with one digit, well, that's obviously going to be less than 47, so it wouldn't fit. So I say 47 into 98. Now to find how many times it fits, you have two options, basically. You can either start writing the timetable of 47. So you'd have to say 47, uh, 94, and then another 47 would make 141, and write all of this 10 times, right? Or you can use the trick that we show. And what's the trick? The trick is hide this number, the ones, and hide this number. And pretend that this 4 is one more than it is. So pretend that it's a 5. And I'd say, how many times does 5 fit into 9? It fits once. So now I'm going to try a 1. 1 times 47 would make 47. 
So I do 98 take away 47, which would give me 51. And now I check, I examine, is this less than this? If it is, great, I can continue. If it's not, then I made a mistake and I need to go back and try one more time. Instead of one time, I'm going to put two times. Two times 47, I can do that multiplication off to the side somewhere. Two times 47 makes 94. I do the subtraction, I get 4. I check, is 4 less than 47? It is, so I can continue. I pull down the next number, I pull down this 5. How many times does 47 fit into 45? 0. So I'm going to write 0, and I'm going to carry down the next number as well, the 6. I'm going to say, how many times does 47 fit into 456? To figure that out, I'm going to hide this number and this number, and I'm going to pretend this 4 is a 5. See, if you just left it as 4, you'd say, oh, 4 fits into 45 11 times, which, no, you can't do that. You can't put two digits here. You can't put 11 here. That'd be wrong. Whereas if we pretend that this is a 5, we'd say, 5 into 45 goes 9 times. 9 times 47. Let's do that multiplication. 9 by 7 makes 63. I'm going to do this in my mind here, writing, writing the result directly here. You can do the same. Um, if uh, Yeah, you can do the same. And then we say 9 by 7 makes 63. So right, 3 carries 6 in my mind. 9 by 4 makes uh, 36, and 6 that I carried over makes 42. I do the subtraction, and I get a result of 33. Now, is this less than this? Yes, it is. So I can continue. Pull down the 2. How many times does 47 go into 332? Well, if I hide this and this, I'd say, how many times does 5 go into 33? The answer would be 6. So I'm going to try 6. 6 times 47. Well, 6 times 7 makes 42, so I'm going to write 2. I'm going to carry 4. I'm going to say 6 times 4 makes 24. And 4 that I carried over makes 28. And subtract. From the subtraction, I'm going to get a result of 50. Is this less than this? No. So I'm going to go back and try again. Instead of 6, I'm going to try 7 one more time. 7 times 7 makes 49. I'm going to write 9, carry 4. 7 by 4 makes 28, and 4 that I carried over makes 32. If I do this subtraction, I'm going to get 3. Is this less than this? Yes. So I can carry on. Pull down the 4. And I say, how many times does 47 fit into 34? It does not, so zero. This is my, I go to pull down another number, there's nothing to pull down, so that's the end of the exercise. So my result is 20,970. With, with a remainder of 34. Next up, I'm going to do 772. Uh, 1,008 divided by 26. So, how many times does 26 fit into 77? To find that, I'm going to hide this 6. And I'm going to hide this 7. I'm going to say, how many times does not 2, 3 fit into 7? 
it fits twice. So I'm going to do 2 times 26, which makes 52. I'm going to do the subtraction. And I am going to get 25. Is this less than this? Yes. So I can continue. Pull down this two. And I say, how many times does 26 fit into 252? Well, how many times does not two, but three fit into 25? Three fits into 25 eight times. Eight by 26. Eight by six makes 48. So I'm going to write eight and we carry four. Eight by two makes 16 plus four that I carried over makes 20. And if I do the subtraction, I am going to get 46. Is this less than this? No. So I need to go back and try one more time. Instead of eight, I'm going to try nine. Nine times 26. Nine by six makes 54. So I'm going to write four. I'm going to carry five. Nine by two makes 18. And five that I carried over makes 23. If I do the subtraction, I would get 18. Is this less than this? Yes, so I can carry on. I pull down the zero. And now I want to find how many times does 26 fit into 180? Well, how many times does 3 fit into 18? 6. 6 by 26. 6 times 6 makes 36, so I write 6 and I carry 3. 6 times 2 makes 12, and 3 that I carried over makes 15. If I do this subtraction, I am going to get 24. Is this less than this? Yes. So I continue. Pull down the zero, and now I have done a multiplication before that shows me exactly how many times uh, 26 fits into 240, and it's right here. But what I would say is how many times does 3 fit into 24? It fits 8 times. And I did this multiplication as well before, and it gave me 208. I would do the subtraction and get 32. And I would ask, is 32 less than 26? No, so I need to go back and try 9. See, we've already done 9 times 26, and we know that it's 234, which is really close to 240. So we could have said, okay, it fits 9 times, because I've already done this. I know how many times it fits. But even if you go with the uh, uh, method that we've shown, you would have gotten the correct answer anyway. This subtraction would give me 6, which is less than 26. I pull down the 8. And I say, how many times does 26 fit into 68, or how many times does 3 fit into 6? That would be twice. 2 times 26, I've already done this multiplication, it gives me 52. No, I don't have any room. Okay, let's do this. Let me make this a little smaller. Mm 
There we go. <clears throat> so when I do the subtraction, 60, 68 take away 52, what I, what I would get is 16, which is less than 26. So I can continue. I go to pull down the next number. There is no next number, so we are done. This is our result. 29,692 with a remainder of 16. Last one. We want to do 124,029 divided by 83. So, we start off by saying, does 83 fit into 12? No, it does not. Does 83 fit into 124? Yes. How many times? How many times does 9 fit into 12? Once. So I'm going to do one time is 83. Give me 83. I would do the subtraction and I would get a result of 41. Is 41 less than 83? Yes. Absolutely. So I can continue. I pull down this 0. And I say, how many times does 83 fit into 410? Or how many times does 9 fit into 41? And that, the answer to that would be 4. 4 times 83. So 4 times 3, give me 12. So 2 carry 1. 4 times 8, give me 32. And 1 that I carry over would be 33. If I do the subtraction, I am going to get what? An 8 here. And here I would get a 7. Yeah. So is 78 less than 83? Yes. So I can continue. Pull down the 2. And I say, how many times does 83 fit into 782? Or, how many times does 9 fit into 78? The answer would be 8. 8 times 83. So, 8 times 3 would give me 24. I write 4, I carry 2. 8 by 8 gives me 68, and 2 that I carried over, uh, 64, and 2 that I carried over makes 66. I do the subtraction, and what I would get is 118. Is 118 less than 83? No. So I made a mistake. I need to go back and try one more time. Instead of 9, I'm going to try, instead of 8, I'm going to try 9. 9 times 3 makes 27. So I'm going to write 7 and carry 2. 9 times 8 makes 72, and 2 that I carried over makes 74. Now, if I do this subtraction, I would get, what, a 5 and a 3, and here would be a 0, so 35. Is 35 less than 83? Yes, perfect. So we can move on and pull down the, no the last number, the 9, and say how many times is 83? Fit into three. This is a nine. Sorry, it looked like a four. Say how many times is eighty-three fit into three hundred fifty-nine? Or how many times is nine fit into thirty-five? And the answer to that would be three times. Three times three would give me nine. Three times eighty-three would give me twenty-four. If I subtract, what I would get is 110. The, uh, is this less than this? No. So I need to try again. Instead of 3, I'm going to try 4. 4 times 3 would give me 12. So write 2, carry 1. 4 times 8 would give me 32. And 1 that I carried over would be 33.
Nine, take away two, gives me seven. Five, take away three, gives me two. Three, take away three, gives me zero. So I get 27. Is 27 less than 83? Yes. I go on to pull the next number down. There's no number to pull down, so it's over. My answer is 1,494 with a remainder of 27. And that's how we do long division. Um, next time we're going to, do, to be doing more examples. We're also going to be doing um, one vertical multiplication with really big numbers. And that's all for the time being. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.